So I've been wearing the Numbak chest rig from Helicon Tex on and off now for 10 months. And I think I'm ready to give you some thoughts on it. If you're interested, keep watching. Okay, as I said a minute ago, I've been wearing the Numbat chest rig from Helicon Tex on and off now for 10 months. It, uh, I didn't wear it last winter because, of course, I was carrying also the Bushcraft satchel and the Bushcraft backpack, which I've reviewed previously, and I'll put links to at the end of the video if you're interested in seeing those reviews. But I started wearing this more often this spring because I felt it was a great thing to carry in warmer weather when I didn't want to carry all kinds of stuff in my pockets. And uh, so I've carried it all summer and now late fall and I, I wore it with a jacket this morning to see what it would feel like with a jacket. And I'm pretty sure I have a good idea of what this is all about and what it can do for you. So let me step back and I'm going to give you a 360 of what it looks like as I wear it and keep in mind now this is the way I have chosen to wear it and there's quite a few adjustments that you can do for yourself to make it fit the way you like it properly but I'll step back and show you how I'm wearing this thing so on the back you can see the webbing that goes between the shoulder blades the straps that come over the top of my shoulders and the straps that go under my arms to maintain this against my chest and uh, what I'll do now is I'm going to take this off, sit down in my chair here and uh, open it up and show it. Well, first I'll show you all the external features, then I'll open it up and show you what it looks like on the inside and how I'm loading it out, at least for today. Okay, here it is. I've taken it off of my chest to give you an idea of how this uh, looks and everything inside of it. Uh, there's quite a bit to go over, so I am going to very quickly give you the statistics in terms of the weight and the size. And then I'm going to go over the outside of the bag, and then I'm going to open it up and go over the inside of the bag. But of course, I am going to put all the information on where you can get the Numbat, as well as the, the uh, specifications for it, in the show notes below for your later reference. So when I was offered the chance to pick a few items from Helicon Text, as I mentioned, this is the third in the, the series of three products that they sent to me. I chose this in what's known as Shadow Grey. Now, Shadow Grey, uh, why did I choose it? I guess I really didn't have a good reason. I had the backpack in the Coyote Brown. I had the... the um, satchel in what they call the adaptive green which is really quite nice but this does come available in a number of different colors in hindsight if i was using it for the woods only i probably would have gone with coyote or the green uh, nothing wrong with the gray in fact what i found is I don't mind wearing this around the city on occasion if I'm looking to be on the move and I want things handy and at, you know at right at hand for me this isn't a bad thing for wearing around the city it fits in you know it's it's not unlike a lot of fashionable ones that people are wearing nowadays so the gray isn't all that bad and uh, it really I guess it works with just about anything it doesn't look too woodsy it doesn't look too military it doesn't look too police it just looks kind of blending in which I guess is what I like about this gray. So let's go over a few of the, the features on the outside of this. Well, I guess first I'll give you some statistics. So weight empty. Now I've got quite a bit of stuff on this. It feels heavier in my hands than it does on my chest, which of course is the whole concept, is to take the weight out of your pockets, put it on your chest and have the suspension hold it in such a way that it doesn't feel all that heavy. But this bag empty weighs in at about 490 grams, just over a pound. It is about 11 inches long from here here to here it is well they say two and three eight, two and three six or two and a half inches thick i don't know how that's measured because empty it can i think it's a lot flatter than that and in this direction it runs about six and three quarter inches again i'll put all the statistics in in the show notes below let's start with the back with the harness system because that's uh that's a good place to start i guess so the harness is oh well the whole thing is made of high grade nylon it has all the same quality features as does the bush, bushcraft satchel and the bushcraft backpack in fact this is in their bushcraft line it has the same little symbol that the other products have right here the little flame or fire uh, symbol for bushcraft uh, it could appeal to other markets as well. I think easily this could appeal to the search and rescue market or the military market or the police market for that matter. Any case, let's get back to the suspension system. So the heavy grade nylon straps terminate in the side release Fastex type buckles. They have, they adjust there for length back and forth and have a little keeper right here to keep the if you're bringing it in closer and you're shortening it up and then you won't have that way you won't have a dangling 
uh, piece of strap. That's true at all four points on the suspension system. So all four points have the Fastex side release buckles and the, the uh, keeper to keep the strap from dangling, which is nice. On the back as well, there's a 3D mesh. Now the concept of the 3D mesh, I think was to keep anything that's sharp or pokey from you know, pushing it on your chest. Uh, it also provides a little bit of padding. I guess for me, what I like about it is that it does provide a little bit of breathability. Not much, mind you, because you do get warm when you're wearing this thing. You know, it's right against your chest. You're going to perspire a little bit. Maybe that collects a little bit of it. It's certainly going to keep it from migrating into the bag and getting anything inside damp. Okay, on the front, there are YKK zippers that terminate at the top that go both directions and just like the other two Helicon Tex products, YKK zippers, high quality, meet together nicely. They should keep out most of the weather, although I don't expect this is considered waterproof. It should be at least water resistant. So the zippers are really good quality. Along the bottom right here is some, they call it the laser cut molly and it's a laminate material it's supposed to be very tough it's unlike traditional molly which is nylon webbing this is a very thin but very heavy duty laminate so you can attach things all the way along here and up the top and there is even some right at the top up here and on the bottom well on the bottom it is elasticized cord that you can hang put things what did i do recently i had um, a bundle of rope that i wanted to carry and have my hands free and i found i could just string it through the uh, the elasticized cord here with the cord lock on the end and it just freed it from my hands the other thing i've done on the front of this is just put a couple of grimlocks i've got two black grimlocks uh, necessary no but boy oh boy are they ever handy for things like hanging my gloves i suppose i could hang my sunglasses in their little pouch you can hang just about anything that you want so you can keep your hands free it will dangle in front of you but it, at least it gets it out of your hands for a few minutes so that you can do whatever it is you need to do with your hands there is also an elasticized pocket on the front and it's kind of well i guess you can it's two elasticized pockets you can probably see my fingers in them right now um, small items. Now, maybe you can keep a, an energy thing in there, maybe a, a, a granola bar or something, or um, maybe your glasses. You know, I, I guess your imagination limits what you can put inside of these little pockets. Whatever fits, I guess, is the way to look at it. So that's the outside of the bag. Now, let's open up and have a look on the inside of the bag. So the bag is designed and it has a paracord running 360 degrees around it and that paracord is adjustable right here with this cord lock and as you can see as I pull up on the cord lock it's closing the bag up so what that the the paracord does is allows the bag to open up to the degree you want it to up to 90 degrees like this and you can adjust that with the cord lock to prevent it opening too far or allowing it to open up all the way I guess so I'm going to just remove a few of the things as we go along. I'm not going to give you the whole contents. I'll show you them as I remove them because th there's panels here that I want to be able to show you and uh, uh, show you as I remove things. So what do I have inside? Well, I can, you know, I guess the concept here is anything you have in your pockets, in your pants pockets, your shirt pockets, or even your jacket pockets, you can probably get it in this take the weight out of your pockets <laughs> then you won't have to wear suspenders like I do sometimes I've been having too much stuff there's a few things I've left on my person such as my belt knife and a ferro rod but everything else I'm carrying in here they are the other two are the most essential I feel and I don't want to be separated I don't take this off most of the time unless I'm perspiring and I want to dry off so when if that's the case I still have my ferro rod and I still have my belt knife otherwise Everything goes in here. My compass is in here, as I'll show you. My eyeglasses, my bandana, an essential piece of equipment. I'm going to toss a few of these on the ground as I go. My eyeglasses in their case. Pocket knife. That I've been carrying this, and you've seen this in another video. This is the Manly Peak two-handed. I've added a little thumb stud to it so that it's now one-handed and meets Canadian law that way. Well, at least they can import this and you can add that. I still consider this one of the best outdoor folding knives, well, at least in my possession. So I'll put that down. What else do I have? Essentials and non-essentials. A chapstick. That can be really handy, not only for your lips or as a fire starter, but even on scrapes or burns if you need to have a little bit of a moisture. I mentioned I have my compass. 
There's my compass and I have one of the little mitten hooks on the end of it and I'm just attach that to the cord that goes right around the outside so that I don't drop the compass on the ground. I always have a length, I'm two meters of paracord in my pocket with, with a uh, uh, bowling loop on one end. Quite often that's what I use for hanging up my backpack. I do have a granola bar in here. Right, good, I'm hungry, I'm gonna be eating that in a second. So I keep a granola bar right at hand. I don't have to stop and take my pack off. This time of year, I'm carrying a flashlight. Now, this is one I don't always carry. These are one of these inexpensive AA battery uh, flashlights. You can get them for 2 or $3. They're not a bad little flashlight. Uh, this is not a flashlight review, but it's a great little backup flashlight, and I can just have this right in my hands, and then I can go to my main flashlight out of my backpack when I need to, or a headlamp, which is the preferred way for if I'm moving through the woods. But that's kind of a backup. I do have a small... Leatherman tool in here and the only reason I'm carrying this Leatherman because it does have a folding blade on it I'm not carrying it for the blade. I'm carrying it for the pliers primarily. I think this is known as the free style I'll probably have to annotate that I've had this for a long time It's usually just something I carry when I'm looking for a pair of pliers without having to carry a full-size Leatherman uh, So that's that's in my chest rig Notepad and pencil and my cell phone which doubles as my camera for taking pictures as well Let's see if i got everything out of the pockets i do all right now that allows me to show you what's inside here and i'll bring it up to the camera for a few of the features so what i'm finding is that there is a panel here that comes out and it has the little clips that attach into the molly inside of the bottom of the pa of the package most of the time i'm not using this panel so i take it out but i want to show it to you because it does have a function and it is something you may want to leave in depending on if, if you feel you need it so this panel is held in place i'll bring it up to the camera buy a piece of velcro as you can see it folds down and I have a clear plastic panel right here so I can put my map or anything else that I need to keep in here any important information for whatever I guess so you can do that that's a nice thing to have I don't often need a map in the woods I'm going but if I'm going exploring in a new area and I print myself off my map that's probably where I would keep it right there as I said this whole panel does remove there's velcro running across the top the uh, the hook the loop side of the velcro and pockets so there are two pockets one two Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or sorry, two large pockets here, large enough for my cell phone. And on each of those is two more pockets here and here. And then four elasticized panels. That's that's the place I'm, I'm right now. I'm keeping my energy bar and my glasses and things like that. But uh, you can keep whatever you want in there, of course. When you fold this down, you're going to see it's also all the loop side of uh, the velcro and that is there so you can attach other accessories available from helicontex they call it their vis the versatile insert system you can put everything if you are uh, legally allowed to carry a firearm then that's not a bad place you can put one of the velcro holsters in here right here to to carry it there or any a number of things i guess can be fitted in here more pouches if that's what you want to do all right, I'm turning it upside down so that you can see the other pouches. I think I can show it to you upside down right now. So here are the rest of the pouches in here. Again, more pockets. One, two, and two more on the front of those. And one zippered pocket here as well for items you just can't afford to have fall out. So that's quite a, quite a number of pockets, quite a bit of versatility in this pack, and it allows me to keep a whole lot of things you just see. Those are just the things I'm carrying today, but, uh, you know, you load out any way you want to. So the Numbat chest rig from Helicon Text. Again, the third in the line of three items that Helicon Text did send me for testing and review. And the reason I left this one to last is because, to be quite honest, when it arrived and I looked at it, I hemmed and hawed and wondered if I should have asked for this at all. I wasn't sure it was something I was going to use, it was whether it was something I was going to like. It was so unlike anything that I had used before, because I've used, you know, the lumbar pouches, and I've used the little fanny packs that you wear in the front, and I found them useful, although they had their pros and cons as well. I wasn't sure this was going to be something that uh, I would make a lot of use out of. But when I started putting things in this and taking them out of my pockets and wearing them and having them all right here, no matter where what I had on me, that's when I started to realize just how useful uh, an item this is. So it may not be for everyone. 
I do find it, by the way, a little hard to wear over a bulky coat. So today I wore in a wool jacket, the wool jacket you see me wearing all winter long. And I only had this shirt under it. I didn't have anything else. But if I was to be wearing a big, thick down jacket, like in the, the heart, heart of winter, I don't know if I could wear this on the outside. But then again, I've got all kinds of jacket pockets at that point that I can be using to hold things in. So this may remain a warm weather spring, summer, fall type of an item for me and because I am finding it a lot more useful than originally I thought it would. Okay, I put that out there. Again, I'll leave you all the information where you can purchase this either directly from Helicon Text. I think it may be available on Amazon. If, I'm, if it's not, then I apologize, but I'll make sure if it is that there's a link in the show notes below. If you have any questions about this or any comments, maybe you know something about these that you would like to add that I missed, then please put that in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.